Lieutenant Governor of California, who is joining us live right now, Eleni Kunalakis, who's been a, a big fan and friend and supporter of our current Senator Kamala Harris, the VP pick uh, for a long time. She was helpful in arguing Kamala Harris's case to the Biden campaign. Uh, she joins us uh, now live. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, thank you. Welcome to The Issue Is. Uh, your thoughts on this historic night? Well, Elix, it's so nice to be with you. What can I say? I've been with my family tonight. We've been watching and cheering and crying. And, you know, it was really an extraordinary thing, a moment of history. The first time uh, I voted when I was 18, Geraldine Ferraro was on the ticket as vice president. And here we are so many years later. We have another woman, an incredible woman, a Californian, uh, a woman of color, uh, someone who is... Um, so steeped in understanding how government works and ready to serve. So it's, it's a really exciting moment. Take us behind the scenes, if you will, um, to the process of getting Kamala Harris to that point. I know you had conversations with the Biden campaign pleading her case. You know, so there was this uh, Zoom call a few weeks ago, and it was really a, an amazing group of us, elected officials from across the state, uh, and I helped organize it, but the power of it was, uh, frankly, Kamala's relationships, her deep relationships. She's the kind of person, and we all know these people, who when she works, when she works on public policy, when she works on, on a project, she bonds with people in a very personal way. Uh, and that, I think, is the key to Kamala, because as she's gone along in her work, she has made lifelong friends uh, who trust her and know her and believe in her. Uh, so a group of us had an amazing opportunity to tell those stories. But to tell you the truth, I mean, I, you know, from the moment that, that we knew that uh, Joe Biden was going to be our nominee, I just couldn't imagine who else it could possibly be. So <laughs> I am not alone. So it was it was gratifying. I think he picked the right person. And uh, tonight was just amazing. We won't tell California Congresswoman Karen Bass that you said that. <laughs> OK. Um. Hey, no, no, you know what? And that was part of it, right, is that none of this process is about disparaging. Right. All of these women who ran for president this time, from Kirsten Gillibrand to Amy Klobuchar right. to, uh, you know, I mean, we've had these incredible women stepping forward, incredible women uh, who were being considered. You know, Susan Rice is someone I admire so much. I worked with her in the Obama administration uh, when I served as U.S. ambassador to Hungary. Incredible people. There is something about Kamala Harris that makes her who she is. And I think um, the country is is about to see more of that. And lastly, um, if she becomes vice president, any interest in her Senate seat? Oh, my gosh. You know, and, and I'm really, <laughs> Alex, no, this is no joke. You know, um, for those of us who um, were traumatized by Hillary Clinton's loss and the belief that we had it in the bag, everybody thought, that she was going to win, uh, nobody I know can see past November. Yeah. We have a Herculean task in front of us. We have uh, people on the ground in California, volunteers, donors, activists. We have to put everything out there right now uh, to win this. And, 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 you know, all these Republicans who have been present at the DNC as well, who are raising their voice saying, this is beyond partisanship. This is beyond party. This is our country, the beautiful country that we know, uh, the leadership of our country in the world, the ability of the United States of America to handle a global mm -hmm. pandemic. We were well equipped to yeah. handle a pandemic in previous administrations. What Donald Trump has done to our government in turning it all into his own private you know, uh, workshop uh, just to help him and not to help our country. That is the moment that we're in, Alex. All right. Uh, Lieutenant Governor uh, Laney Tulakas, thank you so much for joining us. I'll take your last answer as a maybe. <laughs> and we, we appreciate you sharing your views. Hope you'll come back. Uh, join us on the issue is again soon.